Hello, welcome pen friends. Welcome to Chris's Inked Pens for July 2020. I'm going to show you the eight uh, inks and pens that I selected. First we'll look at the pens um, and then also keep in mind I'm going to run the Lamy Vista all month long <clears throat> for my red ink project and I do have the Lamy Broad Nib in that pen so that's empty right now because as I'm filming this it's the last day of June 2020. <clears throat> so here we go. The first pen that I picked was the Gen Hao 599 and I did have uh, I did take off the nib that came on it and put a little Moon Man nib on it. I thought it might be a little bit better. I'm not sure but <laughs> gonna try that out and see if the theory holds. Okay and then next is the uh, Twisby Go in the Sapphire with the broad nib. This is one of my favorites. So I know that I'll grab it and use it all the time for letter writing throughout the month. Plus I've got a beautiful ink in it. Okay, so then next is the Gen Hao X750 in the, the stainless one. And I just love the look of this pen. And I also love the nib I have on it. <clears throat> this has got a, a broad Yowo nib that came originally on the Serendipity Mini. But I was super happy with the Goulet broad nib on the mini so I, I've been using this one on my Gen Hao's so that has worked out really well. And then next up another Gen Hao X750 in the blue swirl. I love this and I thought it was kind of nice for July too. It's real pretty and it's got um, the Goulet 1.5 stub on it. One of my very favorite nibs in my collection. Plus it's got a beautiful ink so <laughs> We're all set there. And then next, I haven't inked this pen in quite a while. This is the Fabric Castile Andaro, and it does have a fine nib. And it just happened that the wood finish goes super nice with the ink that I really wanted to write with, so it got hired for the job. And it's real pretty. This was a, a gift from a pen friend uh, at least a year ago, maybe more. Okay, then next up, Looks like it's got a little bit of something on it. Oh dear. I've someone has harmed my lamy. It's probably a one of my cats. Oh, nope, it cleaned off. I'm I'm getting hysterical here. Okay. This <laughs> that could happen, but I really hide my pens really well in cases and make sure they're not kicking around because of my kitten. Um, this is a Lamy Safari in the black with um, a Lamy fine nib. And I'm gonna enjoy this, I think. I wanted black ink, which I don't normally use that much anymore <laughs> for some reason, and so I thought the Lamy would be great. Okay, next up is a pen that I love, but I have put a different nib on it. So this is the Gen Hao 992 in the kind of blue transparent, and uh, I have put the Fude nib that I had, which Fude means it's a bent nib, and it, it's really a creative nib. I appreciate it a lot more now than I did when my pen friend first gave it to me and I was sort of clueless about, you know, how to hold the pen to write with it. But it's it's really nice and I'm, I think I'm going to really enjoy that for letter writing and whatever else I do. M mostly for letter writing probably. But there we have that one. And then last but not least, another Twisby Go in the smoke color. And then this one is the stub nib. So, oh wow, you can almost see what's, what color's there, but not quite. It's still a mystery for another few minutes. <laughs> okay, so what I'll do is set up to do the writing sample, and uh, see you back here. Okay, so I'm, I'm in my uh, Bond Travel Gear 68 GSM Tomoy River Paper Journal. It's the, the hardcover A5 that I keep squawking because it's discontinued. <laughs> so, but I'm going to take advantage of what's left, which is quite a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and um, start with the Gen Hao uh, 599. <clears throat> and I made a note to skip two boxes between. That really helps when I do the report card. So, um, Tried this out when I first put the ink in. And I'm a little bit fearful it may be dry. But for what I'm going to use it for, it may end up being really good. So it's going to go in the Loistrum and it's going to go in some other cheaper papers. <clears throat> And the nib is smooth, but it's pretty dry. We'll see that in a minute. Okay, and this is a cat hair, of course. <laughs> okay, so it's got a fine Moon Man. It's, it's, it's a Moon Man mini nib. I don't know that I need to write all that, but it would probably, a number five, probably be handy, 
years down the road. And the ink is KWZ <clears throat> Thief's Red. We're going to do the panel after we do the writing sample. I've got a panel that shows, you know, the water resistance and the kind of dramatic look of each of these inks that we'll do. But let's do a little smear on each one. Um, you can see that's pretty dry because it didn't move very far. Actually, that's better than it was. I have worked on the nib. Um, when I first inked it up, I thought, oh, why did I think that nib was going to be wetter? It definitely wasn't. But <clears throat> Okay, next up is the Twisby Go with a broad nib. And in this one, skip two boxes. Oh, this is nice and wet. This is going to be really good for letter writing, no question. <clears throat> Twisby Go, broad. We'll put sapphire, <clears throat> if I can spell it. Okay, and we've got Robert Oster. I can already see the shading. I hope you can. Robert Oster Blue Denim. I love this ink. Huh. Okay. It didn't go very far, but it is a wet nib. It's, I mean, it's nice and the ink flows really well in this pen. That's going to be really joyful. Oh, next I've got wonderful, beautiful ink in this. This is the X750 um, with the broad Yo-Wo nib. And it's got a very special ink in it. And it is purple, the ink. <laughs> I think if I remember right, I've been doing the panel first before I do this, but I'm not going to let that bother me. You, you can enjoy it just as well after. <laughs> okay. Jin Hao. <clears throat> X750. With the broad Yo-Wo nib. Oh, isn't that pretty? I don't know. Can you see it the way I'm seeing it? It's just a gorgeous and nice purple ink. <clears throat> it's very special. It's Annie's Purple Mix. And Annie, if you're watching, thank you. I love this ink. And I'd kind of gotten it mixed up because there's an Annie's mix that's purple. But this, the Annie's purple mix, uh, she sent me these that she mixed up herself. And I will look in my other ink journal and see if I can find the uh, ingredients. That way we'll have it. I don't think we have the ratios, but we have the, the ink that went into making this. And it's just gorgeous. And it's flowing out of that pen. Uh, like just like I like like it's going to be so so fun for letter writing okay and then next is the beautiful Jen Hao X750 um, blue swirl I think is what it's called I'll look that up when I do it do the description I try to do what I can okay so that 1.5 goulet nib is just it's just yummy you know it, it's nice and juicy and it's really good for letter writing and this was my favorite during last month's uh 30 blue inks 30 days <clears throat> Jin Hao x750 with a 1.5 goulet nib okay and this has got the diamine i really wanted to keep writing with it diamine blue black of course, this is a fire hose of a nib. And I just think it's going to be gorgeous on the uh, Tamoy River. Whoops. <laughs> okay. And that kind of shows something there. It really, really puts out the ink, doesn't it? Oh, my gosh. That's nice, though. That won't hurt my feelings any. I'm going to love that. Okay. So next is the uh, Graf Von Faber-Castile. Um, I love the way that looks. You probably get to see <laughs> my camera in there uh and andaro i think is how you say it <clears throat> with a fine nib and one of my favorite inks my favorite brown ink to this point <clears throat> some of you already know i'm sure <clears throat> oops i'm sure i'm holding it right it's nice and smooth and uh it does have a little more feedback than I'm used to, but that's because I'm used to writing with broad nibs. And this is the SBRE Brown. I worked really hard and I had a flu when I ordered it. And that's the only reason I was home and knew that it was available that day. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of hard. Oh yeah, you can. You see, it's it's a nice wet uh, ink too and it's really nice. Okay, so it is... Um, bottled by Ackerman and made by Diamine and I never know what to write but we all we're kind of familiar with it so let's just have it there and 
we know what it is. So I have my beautiful bottle over here on the shelf. Let me pull it down without wrecking anything. Well, it's in here, <laughs> but it's, it's one of my most unique inks, so I really am excited about it. Okay, so next is my Lamy Safari in the black. Whoops, there's the little logo. So I, we got fairly good lighting today, but <clears throat> it's always a challenge with the, the fine Lamy nib. <clears throat> so this will give me a nice basic black ink to write with. <clears throat> It is Lamy Safari. Fine nib. And I've got a uh, Lamy Crystal uh, Obsidian ink in it. And I think that's going to be nice to explore that and see how it is. Okay, it's dry. It's a Lamy Fine nib and it's uh, it you know, a little bit dry, but I don't think that's a bad thing at all for what I'm going to use it for. And you can see on that Tamoy River, it's still drying. It's there, it's nice and wet, but it's it's a relatively dry nib, and that's good for note taking. So that's going to be two. The red one and the black one are going to be pretty dry. Okay, so next, I'm really excited about this combination. The Jin Hao uh, 992 in the blue translucent, and that Food A nib, that Let's see if I can hold it up where you could that bent nib, which when I first saw it, I thought, oh, it's a terrible accident. But no, no, it's not. It's really cool. OK, and if you can, I don't know if you can see that, but even when you make a box, your downstrokes are going to be thinner and it's just really neat. And, you, you know, you could practice with these and hold them just right and get all kinds of neat effects. So um, Jin Hao. And sometimes my writing looks awful with it, but I just need to practice. 992. And I can tell if I get it just right, it really, really, uh, really does nicely. With the Food A nib, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and put, because I have two, so it's the translucent blue for years to come, I'll know. Okay, and this is the Twisby. I wanted to try this ink. Twisby Prairie Green. Oh, I hope I spelled that right. Okay. So that's that's really neat. That had some... Ooh, look at that shiny ink still drying on the Tamoy River. That had some uh, juiciness, and it's, it's quite pretty. Now, the camera's probably darkening it up just a little. This is kind of like a new blade of grass, kind of like almost fluorescent, like the grass in Vermont in the summer when it's coming up new. Okay, so last but not least is the Twisby Go in the Smoke Edition, and it has the 1.1 stub on it. <clears throat> and I'm excited because I love this ink. Okay. <clears throat> and the pen. Twisby Go. 1.1. Smoke. And it's got the luscious Birmingham Golden Gazette. I like the ink and I'm excited because they're starting to, uh, you know, bring it back some inks and I think it's going to probably happen. And it's, there were three bottles, three bottled inks the other day. Whoops. I think I contaminated with my dirty finger. Let's try that again. My inky finger, not dirty finger. Okay. Let's see. How are we doing? Well, that lays it down pretty evenly and dries pretty fast, so that's nice. Okay, um, before we go back to the uh, report card, but I will lay it open so we can see that in a minute, um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the panel. <clears throat> okay, so here's the panel with the eight inks, and I'll just pull the, the pen that the inks are in as I talk about them, but the first ink was uh, KWZ Thief's Red, in the, in the little Jen Hao, the 599. And uh, I know that, that that's a really fine nib and I may have to do a little more work on it. It's smooth, but it's quite dry and I think I can get it writing even better. But I don't want to get it to where it bleeds through the Loistrum or anything. So I might, I might not go too, too far with that. 
Um, this is one of my very favorite reds, and it's it's quite patriotic. You know, the United States flag has the uh, the blue and the red, and but really this was more about uh, doing some editing. So, okay, so the next one that was in the Twisby Go is the Robert Oster Blue Denim. And I just, I love that ink. It's, uh, it shades and it's even got, let's pull it off of there. It's got some red um, sheen a little bit and it's just really pretty. It, it's uh, not water resistant, but it's gorgeous on the Tawai River paper. So it's gonna be really fun to write letters. I can imagine that'll probably be the first one I pull. Although when I when I do these tests with them, um, when I do the one where I'm, you know, every day I'm going to be putting a different red in, I, I could lead with the red and then go to the blue. That would be fun. That's what I've been doing all month with the blue inks. So um, again, a broad nib. It'll be great. Okay, and then the gorgeous purple. There it is for you to really see what that color looks like. That, Annie, you did a great job mixing that purple. I gee whiz I would just stop at that I wouldn't need anything else it's it's really pretty and it's got some sort of a almost a violet sheen on it so that'll be kind of fun looking back in my notes and seeing uh, which inks that you use to make it because someday I may actually get into mixing inks it's not something I've tried yet but I think it would really be, I mean, to be able to make something like that and, you know, coming out of that, that broad yo -Oh nib that came from James Phineas, it's really, really a nice combination. So next up was Diamine Blue Black, my favorite from 30 Blue Inks, 30 Days. Um, doesn't really match the pen, but I thought, well, uh, this is the one I really wanted to use was that Goulet 1.5, the nib. The whole feed, the whole system. Actually, I moved this nib and feed from another one of my Gen House because I know this one's cooperative, like super cooperative. So, um, yeah, that's a longer story. But anyway, it's it's really so far doing really well. So that'll be nice. And then next is the Lamy uh, Crystal Obsidian. It's it's really complex. It almost kind of has a dark green look to it, but it's you know it's black and it's it's got that. The, like I said, that really neat, oh no, this is the one that didn't want to go in there. <laughs> oh well, now it's going to be crooked. Okay, so, oh, am I out of order? <laughs> yeah, I'm out of order, but that's okay, as long as I get the right pen. <laughs> and it is in the Lamy Safari, oh my goodness. I didn't, I didn't bother to order up the pens in the right order. That's going to be really cute if I mess up, but I'll have to watch it later and make sure. I'm pretty sure I was okay to this point. Okay, so this is the pen it's in with the Lamy Fine nib. Oh my gosh, I'm not going to leave myself any time to talk to you. Okay, then the SBRE Brown, my favorite brown, is in the Andaro, the Faber-Castell, the really heavy wooden pen. Um, but despite its heaviness, I never posted, of course, and it it's quite comfortable to write with, and it's just really pretty. You know, it's a pretty pen. And, you know, with such a high-quality nib on it, that makes it nice. Um very very nice okay next was twisby um prairie green and that yeah that's in the food a nib so that <laughs> i just wanted to confuse myself i didn't have one of these 992s in green or i would have you know made it easier on myself so that's the food a nib that we just looked at with the prairie green and i think it seems to be flowing really well uh, and i i'm just gonna experiment with it some more and see what i can get from it uh, in writing letters and so forth mostly letters I'm sure and then last but not least was the Golden Gazette um, which I must have it says day 23 I must have done this one on one of my other 30 inks 30 days series so I'll see if I can link that um, that review in case you're interested I hope they bring this ink back again uh, stub nib 1.1 nib uh, I think it's going to be really nice in this. And that ink does have some water resistance, quite quite a bit. You can tell by the, the way it reacted there. So, um, I will be right back with the report card. <laughs> there. Okay, June was a great month. Um, I wrote almost all my pens dry. I think, gosh, I think the only one that, I mean, the Wing Sun 3008, that's a piston filler. And I foolishly, you know, filled it all the way to the brim. That one still has a little ink. And then I think the Wing Sung uh, 3013 has just very little. That's that uh, the vacuum filler one. 
But everything else, um, well, with the exception of the little ice sport, that's probably about half gone. But that pan is a, you know, ever ready bunny. It, it won't go dry or anything. So let's just start with the beginning here. I, the Lamy Vista uh, with a broad nib. I was using the Monteverde Caribbean Blue and I wrote that dry and I said A, it was excellent, color flow, wrote many letters with it. Yeah, I, I really do favor a blue ink for letter writing, I just love that. And the nice brightness of that one. So then next was the Twisby Eco, uh, the 1.1 and that was the rose gold. I wrote it over here because I failed to write it here. And it was A+, plus. it was my favorite, favorite combination of the entire month. Uh, the flow was what did that and of course I like the color it's a beautiful green kind of complex a little bit different than some of the greens I have but it, it I wrote it completely dry and that was completely full that piston filler um, wrote letter after letter with it and I just loved it um, you know and with me I don't write every single page with the same color because I'm just like that I like to show you all the <laughs> all the stuff I got inked up okay the next one was the Jin Hao 159 um, I think that was the rose gold one I need to be writing those things down uh, with the 1.5 Goulet nib and pure pens pending sands the Celtic from the Celtic set I did have a little trouble with the pen and I know it wasn't the nib and I, I really don't think it was the ink either but I still gave it a B plus because it was very nice um, and it's possible that I let it sit a little too long but I, I don't think so. I, I think I was just having trouble with that particular one. Um, I'm going to get in there and check into that but that's still just being picky because to give it a B plus it was great you know until it wasn't and then, <laughs> then I started having some trouble. Um, I, I don't know that requires more uh, searching and thinking about it. And then my pilot vanishing point, I put the Aurora purple. And I love that. Um, the only thing is that doesn't hold very much. And I wasn't into refilling them this month. I wanted to run as many dry as I could. So I got that one all dried out by writing. Um, and I put B plus almost the best it, get, best it gets in this pen. But Bunga Box Levant was better. Okay, so I felt like Bunga Box Levant was uh, flowier in that pen. And that's real important to me. To, to have that, but I love the Aurora Purple and I want to try it in another pen, so I made notes to myself. Then the Caveco Ice Sport with the medium nib uh, with Diamine Alexandrite, this is the non-shimmer one, that was excellent and it still is. I, it's probably a little less than half full still. Super nice flow, eyedropper, never skipped, always ready. Yeah, I, I gave it a star, that was great. Okay, then the Gen Hao X450 uh, with the medium nib, Noodler's Tokyo Gift Cherry Blossom. Love the ink, didn't think this pen quite showed it off the best. Well, that's because it has a medium nib. I would have been all excited if it, if, if it had a broad nib, so I need to probably, you know, gradually add a few more broad nibs to my uh, collection just to be able to put it on there. I, I switch them around a lot. So I, but I said I still enjoyed it. And then Wing Sung 3013 with a fine nib, Roaring Klinger Casia. That's great. I gave it an A minus. Very nice. How I wish it was a broad nib. Okay, that just keeps coming up, and it's a little different with those uh, those pens. You know, I, I have to look into what the options are if there are any options. Uh, very reliable and good writer. So yeah, that was excellent. Uh, then the Wing Sung 3008 with a fine Lamy nib on it with La Arti Artisan. Rose uh, Grenade Pink. Okay, B minus. Okay, but I'd rather see this ink in a broad nib. Oh my goodness, I'm getting sick of hearing the same thing from myself. Need a second Lamy broad nib. Yeah, I could use one more Yowo and one more um, Lamy broad nib. My best combination was definitely the Twisby Eco with the 1.1 uh, nib on that. It's the rose gold one with the Birming Birmingham Summer Jade. I just, oh, I, I had all I could do not to go and fill it again with that same ink but I want to try out some more inks so I don't I don't want to keep doing that and um, you know denying the other inks their chance you know <laughs> so second place was Lamy Vista Broad with the Monteverde Caribbean Blue that's beautiful just beautiful so I will see you over on the other side so that I can uh, just give you a little personal update <clears throat> So those are my inks and pens for July 2020. 
and I'm really, really excited about it. There's some really beautiful inks and some explorations to make with the new pens and, you know, or pens I haven't inked up in a while. So I just thought I'd hop on and talk to you for just a few minutes before I, I let you go. And if you're seeing this, there's been some kind of major miracle because I'm trying something new and technology is, is so challenging for me, but I just, I have to keep trying and I, I can't give up. So. I just wanted to say that here in Texas, we've had an upsurge in, in uh, the pandemic, the, the cases of the virus and everything. So it has been really tense this week, but I, I really find it a, a safe haven, the hobby, and that has really kind of carried me through. So it's been a great week, actually. Uh, it, the, it's so wonderful, the success of Matt's website, the inkswatch.com. And, and that was one of the main things I wanted to tell you was that in case you didn't know already, he's created an Instagram and a Facebook page and also a Twitter. So you can go and check that out. You can follow when he uploads new um, swatches because there's already pen friends who are um, scanning and sending and emailing and you name it uh ink swatches so there's going to be a lot more on the website and i just find it exciting just just wonderful i myself love it i i love to use it to uh compare inks so um yeah that's it's been you know and i say it's been such an exciting week because not only that it was the today was the last day of the 30 blue inks, 30 days, so I've got it in the bag. All of these samples have been tested out and written with. I've written pen pal letters. I've, I've uh, you know, explored the inks and done chromatography and water tests, and I had a blast. I had so much fun that I uh, mentioned it on my last video, but that I'm doing red inks for July. So I've got 31 of them, so every day I will be using that uh, Lamy Vista to, to load up and, and uh, try out a red sample. So that's, I just think it's going to be a, a great lot of fun because I, I was just getting my groove. I just got it going in my ink journal when it was time for the month to come to an end. So I'm looking forward to that. So um, what are you doing with your pens and inks? I'd, I'd like to hear about it. I always want to know. And I like it when I find out, oh, we're using almost, we're trying some of the same inks and that kind of thing. So um, there was only one more thing I wanted to mention real quick, and that is that uh, this Saturday, July 4th, is Manuel and my uh, 35th wedding anniversary. So we're having a pandemic wedding anniversary, but, you know, we always find a way to have fun. So hopefully we'll, uh, and it's really, really hot here. So we've been having kind of a, a Saturday ritual where we come back from taking care of our nephew dogs and we either get takeout or we get something real good to eat and we get uh, we watch a movie together. Because most of the time we're in our own little projects and our own corners and, and busy doing separate things. But it's really nice on Saturdays to do that. So I'm just really looking forward to these uh, to these inks. I say inks. So you've got to have a pen and nib to work with them. But wasn't that Annie's uh, purple mix just gorgeous? I mean, that's just amazing how that's coming out of that that nib and then the other one that I know I'm going to be reaching for is um, the Robert Oster blue denim that's that's another one in that Twisby go but uh, I'm real excited too about the uh, diamine blue black uh, I was surprised how much I like that ink um, really people were right I, I had that recommended to me several times and and then someone sent me a sample so and then some of these are are uh, you know, pretty standard, the Thief's Red, the SBRE Brown, and the Lamy uh, Black ink, but still, it's nice to, to try out some um, that I haven't used in a while, and to use them for the purposes that I want to, so. I'd love to hear in the comments about what you're, you're using for pens and inks, and uh, just keep the comments coming, and, and thank you for being here. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Bye for now.